it can be very useful when you are developing a design to bring in some guidance, some guiding blocks. I've brought in a block here on the right hand side which shows the typical turning radius for a small vehicle. This is uh, the red indicates the small vehicle and the different ways in which it can reverse and turn. So if we now move a copy of that block and pop it onto our design, I'll swing into layout space. You can see here that this vehicle, if it needs to turn and move back to that position, then reverse out and come in, we are a little bit short. So unless the vehicle here was much smaller than this one, and I've chosen uh, a block with quite a small vehicle, we need to borrow some extra uh, extra land within the um, grassed area to the right hand side and that really ought to be shown on the plan here. So we'd really like to move our parking area somewhere somewhere like that to, and let's go back to this zone, just to give, it's not a big movement, but perhaps moving uh, maybe a metre or two into that grassed area, that enables a vehicle to reverse out from that parking pad and move out. This one here is much more, uh, much more difficult to reverse from, and you'd have to reverse all the way out through there. So designing with in f you're working with a full-size model and experimenting with these little guides, if you like, or templates for how a vehicle turns can be very helpful indeed.